The past year, ABC Action News launched Driving Tampa Bay Forward. It's our way of covering safety concerns and what matters the most on the roads. Nicole Griggs shows us the projects moving forward in 2019. If you live in Tampa, that's always, you know, a lot of traffic. Like many of us, Betty Damco sits on our roads. One of the big projects near Brandon Mall wrapping up early 2019. Um, it's very congested at times. It's been two years in the making. FDOT widening this section of State Road 60. It will go from four lanes to six lanes. I'm thinking if this works out good, you know, add the lane each, hopefully it'll help the congestion. Driving Tampa Bay forward, we're also looking at US 41 near the Port of Tampa. Traffic's been at a standstill as FDOT rebuilds the intersections with concrete. The first phase will wrap up in the summer. Uh, people just have to deal with it until it gets done. In Pinellas, the Pinellas Trail will reopen in 2019, a big deal for bicyclists and pedestrians. And looking ahead to projects, the Big Bend area in Riverview, FDOT will start acquiring land as part of the first steps to fixing the interchange to 75. In Brandon, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News. Heads up for your commute when you head back to work. Starting Thursday, crews will be widening Adamo Drive from 78th to Falkenberg Road. Those lane closures are expected to last until Saturday. Our mission to tackle traffic issues continues into 2019. If you have a story idea or tip, call our Driving Tampa Bay Forward tip line at the number you see on your screen. That's 866-428-6397 or email us at driving at WFTS.com.